Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Show. Welcome. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. I need you to monitor my volume. I'm having an issue with my right ear. Yeah. So if I talk too loud or too okay. low, give me a little. So the hearing is dissipated a hair. Terrible. Shoot. I left an SOS for Dr. Bogue. Okay, Dr. Kelly Bogue. Do you want to go with me? I do because I have a <laughs> feeling I know what the problem is. I think you have something stuck in there. Well, Katie was like, Mom, I just saw on TikTok Ugh, somebody TikTok. did that and they pulled a spider out of her ear. Really? I just want you to know right now, hear me now and listen later, I will die. It's not, mm -hmm. uh, but I have seen, and it's probably been 13 months since I've seen inside your ear with that <laughs> camera, but I do know something's in there. So let us know, okay? Okay. So, hey, uh, I got to show you how beautiful of a morning it was yes. out at MIS today. Today? Have, well, maybe it was the other day, Saturday. but maybe I'm showing it today. Yeah, look oh, at this. This was Saturday wow. morning. Oh, that's amazing. Wasn't it as beautiful? Not only do they have night lights, which starts next week, I think, or maybe yes. two weeks from now. No. The, fun, the, the run is uh, coming up. Okay. They hosted the cross country state championship over they the did. weekend yes. and Lumen Christie girls came in first they, they won they did and we'll uh, let's get to some of those photos pretty cool uh, coach Mike Woolsey he has more state championships than you have purses <laughs> <laughs> well and his he's nicer than most of my purses very Mine nice are a little worn out <laughs> um this guy is an incredible human Legend. I got to know him a little bit better last year and I'll tell you what this is what he lives for is these girls I was talking with uh, Trish earlier, and she's had some of her kids uh, be around Coach Woolsey and the team. And, you know, to be able to get the kids mentally ready yeah. is, I think, underestimated. Coach Woolsey does just a phenomenal job because running is not easy. It's not always fun. No, it's not. And to keep teenage girls engaged, yes. you know, and committed right. and doing it throughout that period of time yeah. where, you know, you just, that adolescent brain is all over the place. I just think he is, he is a gift and I'm praying he sticks around. I need him like six more years. Just tell him, yeah, six more years. Yeah. It's getting to the point where um, yeah, you you do worry about some of those longtime teachers and coaches yeah. retiring, right? That's just, I just I was talking to somebody yesterday that's thinking about a move to Lumen Christi, and oh, her yeah. son is in like fourth or fifth grade. Mm. And she's like, but do you think Coach Brogan will still mm. be there? And I'm like, you know what? Yes, yes, I do, <laughs> I do. Yeah, one of the Coach Brogans will for sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No doubt. Um, Friday, I went to the indoor farmers market. Oh, how was that? It was good. I, I brought one picture back. Oh, let's see. It was um, from Suffernick Farms. You remember we had him and I his wife on the show? I love them, yes. But yeah, there's probably 30 vendors, and uh, Brandon and I will have a segment, I think, on Thursday, a little visit to the market. But it's cool. It's um, They had knife sharpening. Ooh. They, have, they had a guacamole. Um, the gentleman from Frankenmuth guacamole, I think it was, what was the name of it? I'm going to say it wrong. It was. It like, said world's greatest guacamole. I did see that Yeah, somewhere. so it was yeah. sold out when we got there at 11. Oh. So he'll be there next Friday, too. So is it Friday and Saturday or just, just Friday? Friday? Just Friday. Just Friday. And it's at, it's right across the yeah, street, yeah? Yeah, at, at Found Church. Yeah, okay. right next to uh, RJ's down uh, east end of Michigan Ave toward Consumers. Perfect. Yep. Uh, so it was a very busy weekend. Uh, we had two high school football teams win. Loom Christie won. Western won. I went to the Loom Christie game. How was that? It was good. I like to stand kind of in the end zone and let people graze. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fun. Uh, we just hung out, but it was kind of a it was kind of a sloppy game. Yeah. It wasn't great. I have never been in those stands. What Did do you, you mean? know that? Like I have never worked my way up into no? the stands. Have you, you never sit? Never. Never. Huh. Never have sat. Ever? Ever. Well, they didn't play there when you were in school. Correct not. No. Okay. We played at All Whittington. Right. So you're a stander. I'm a stander. I'm Does a your wife stand with you? Yeah, she stood The with entire me. time? She did, yeah. She, oh, she enjoyed she's it. She's a gamer. Yeah, she enjoyed it. We. Uh, did she tell you she enjoyed it? She said it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> she lied. Well, you don't want to go get, you don't want to sit and then you're stuck. Yeah, that's Congratulations true. to the Western Panthers. Go they Panthers. Stevensville Lakeshore came in from two hours away and went home with a loss. Mm. Sorry. And uh, yeah, so they will play Saturday at one o'clock for a regional 
championship. So if uh, Western wins Saturday, okay. if Western and Lumen uh, both win, they will play in the semifinals. When not does each Lumen other. play? I believe Friday night, but I don't know if that is for sure okay. yet. I'm not sure. So. All right, because I'm going to Chicago this weekend. You are? Yes, and I have my girls perfectly managed, and I was not counting on you're not a taking, Friday night football game. You're, well, <laughs> Uncle not. Andrew might have to watch. But I'll tell you, you're going to Chicago without your kids? What? Yes, and I cannot wait. The city? The city of Chicago. I am going. I will never see you again. Adult weekend. Kelly is going with me. Kerwin's gonna. Kerwin actually has to work. Saturday, I would like but. it if Kerwin went to babysit you too. No. Well, my brother. Last time you were out on the streets of Chicago, you were giving homeless people books and crayons. Oh, and I already money. got two dollar bills from the bank to hand out, and granola bars from my purse. But. I have not been to see my brother, you know, because he comes here yes, a lot. Yes. Um, but I haven't been there to see them since 2020. Oh, which wow. Is, That's a I'm long a good time. sister. That is not indicative of that. But I am so excited for an adult weekend. I cannot even tell That'll you. I probably will look different on Monday and probably not better. <laughs> I hope you have a great time. Yes, I'm sure you, you will. Yes. Hit all of the uh, clubs and night spots. <laughs> Should be a great time. I am a clubber. <laughs> you are. Let's go outside and take a look at our hometown heating, cooling, and more sky cam. Gorgeous. It's a gorgeous 50 degree mild day here in, uh, in Jackson. It's a wonderful day. Nelson Towers beaming brightly off in the Ding. distance. Yeah, Nelson Towers. Wonder what everyone's doing in the Nelson. Watching JTV's Chilling, morning show hanging with out. Andy and Jennifer. They're probably sure. figuring out how they're going to pay that uh, association fee. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. probably what everyone does. They wake up and figure out how are we going to pay this association fee. Yeah, I think you got to take your cans back and mm -hmm. do a little panhandling. Their association so. fees are no I joke. I think so. What uh, did you do this weekend? Well, oh, we, I did bring some Halloween pictures, so if we could rewind back. Yes, let's do that. I don't know if we still have that, because yes, we we, last rewind. time we, I was here was Monday. So this is my daughter and my mom and my nephew. He was Batman. He also turned 13 last week, by the way. Happy birthday, Drewby. Um, actually, on Saturday. Uh, but they all went trick-or-treating in the snow, and I'm, I'm just so glad Me that too. my girls still go. How old do you think is too old? I saw your note this morning, and I decided to go with freshmen. Freshmen? Yeah. So I'm going to go with, as long as you dress up, I don't care. Okay. Because there were plenty of adults that came to my there, mom's. There were. But how cute is this? Katie went as the Statue of Liberty, and her two girlfriends went as New York tourists. They, they were cute. We Those saw them. Oh, yeah, you gave them a ride home in the snow. I Thank did. you for doing mm -hmm. that. And then I, when I dropped them off, I said, girls, don't ever get in the car with a stranger. Just say no. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, good reminder. Very good reminder. No. Um, what did Ella go as? She, at school, she went as a Swifty. Nice. And then for the evening out, she went as a, a fairy. Oh, but nice. They just wore two toes. They all wore Oh, that's right. I saw yeah. their group picture. Okay. Have you watched Ted Lasso I'm yet? afraid of commitment. Okay. I, I need to watch it. I know you say this all the time. I know. So uh, this quote came across this weekend, and I've decided if you don't start watching it, I'm just going to barrage you, berate you with quotes okay. every Monday. So this one says, but I hope that either all of us or none of us are judged by the actions of our weakest moments, but rather by the strength we show. I like that. And I'm telling you what, that's the kind of inspiration you should start every Monday with. I like and it. And you walk away with from every Ted Lasso with it. Okay. I like it. Oh, we're, re we're rewinding back to... I was going to follow that up with everyone's entitled to a bad day this is true thank you this is true that yeah they are aren't they everyone's entitled to a bad day but you'll never have a bad day if you start it at the daily grind which is what we do every tuesday morning and check them out how uh, cute are they i haven't been able to pay in the, la the last three or four times i've gone what yes is that because of our friend jan Yes, but then there's some other. I think there's some others. Oh, I, well, I've only had it happen once. Oh, well, maybe I have a couple more fans than you. You do have a lot more fans than I do. Well, it's... People uh, always say, like, you're on that show with Andy. Yeah, well, you know, my breakfast is a little cheaper than yours, so it's easier to buy. This I think, is true. I think that's Yours is liquid. That's part and of two it. pieces of bacon. Two pieces of Random. bacon. Random. <laughs> Did you happen to watch the 2020 about baby Holly? Did you ever hear that story? No. Like 40 years ago? <sighs> Well, I sure watched that. <laughs> Forty years ago, this it's too long of a story. Just Give me the Reader's Digest version. Uh, this baby showed up at this church, nine month old, 40 years ago, and uh, no one knew where the baby was from. Also, 40 years ago, like, an, like this young couple, 16 and 18, who had a baby, they were murdered in the woods in Texas, and it took like 
uh, and so it took, no, they were unidentified. So they were they were buried in like a Texas cemetery with Jane and John Doe's, and somehow uh, through a genealogical DNA thing, DNA thing, someone found, was able to find out who those two people were. Got a hold of the relative, and the relative said, "What about the baby?" <gasps> And then they ended up finding this baby Holly, who's my age or a couple years old. Stop older. it! Crazy story. So wait a second. So and they interviewed somebody them. murdered them and then but saved the baby saved and the dropped ba the baby. They off? were parts of these like cults too. So like these white robed cults. So someone <gasps> dropped this baby off. But David Muir interviews baby Holly. Stop it! Yes. Oh no! I'll have to watch. Yes, it. that's pretty. That's cool. right. Twenty twenty. Yeah. And I believe that was the uh, newest newest one. Yeah. Hey, the Nightlight's Fun Run Walk is coming up. Yes. And uh, you can sign up right now. Just visit runsignup.com or nightlightshow.com. Registration going on right now. We'd love to see you there. We would love to see you there. Um, have you looked at, uh, do you have a phone call? No, but I was just looking at that slide and, and did, today's date. And it then, is. Yeah. How did you enjoy your extra hour of sleep? Oh, it was amazing. Really? Did you oh, guys participate in that extra hour? I really did. Like, you know, we have church Sunday morning mm -hmm. and I set my alarm, like taking into consideration the extra Very hour. Good. Now my dogs were like, hello, wake up. You let your dogs out? Yeah. You're the one who does that? Yeah. Unbelievable. So I let the dogs out, but when they came back in, we all snuggled up for a nice like 45 minute nap. Amazing. I, you. I actually did a video about it yesterday at my open house. I was in really? the best mood ever. Because not only did I get an extra hour of sleep, but when I my eyes popped so open. You're feeling good. So much sunshine. Yeah. Yes, it was amazing. This morning was gorgeous. Yes. Now, remind me how I feel today, next spring, when I'm super ticked off about it. I when we lose I'm just wondering hour. how you're gonna feel next Monday. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> not good. That's what if, I'm worried about. If my calculations are correct. Not good. Not very good. Isn't that and ridiculous? Remember, That's my goal. <laughs> and you lose an hour too, so you're gonna there's oh all that. God. So yeah. I had a little bit of an issue because you know my, my dog has to eat at a certain time and then we do an insulin shot. So I had to kind of do all the math related to that when Forgot I lost an hour. So about <sighs> yeah. 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 How is the dog doing? Okay. Good. Is, is this gonna be a lifelong thing? Yes. Is it a dietary thing? We've it, this is just what happens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So things, things, uh, things are going well. Mm -hmm. The Jackson YMCA Party for a Cause will be going on this Friday, and you're usually at this, and you will not be there because I you'll won't. be in Chicago. I will miss it, but we, the Brokerage House, will be there. We'll oh, have good. plenty of representation. Who will I get to see? Uh, Darren. Nice. Skyler. Nick. For sure them. Great. And then whoever they want to bring. Uh, I think Sydney too. But uh, this is such a fun event. If they still have tickets available, I highly recommend that you book, get yes. get to a table. Um, it's 50 Amp Fuse playing. They yep. are amazing. They Remy, are. their lead, everything is, is everything. So go. It's a great cause, great night out. Reaching for the Stars this Friday, November 10th at 530. Last week you were uh, telling me about these Samaritan purse boxes that you had in your office and Ella came home with one from school. Oh, great. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. So, so there are several churches doing it um, and some retail organizations involved too. But Corey, our sweet Corey Bauman in the office, mm -hmm. she, I told you about this before, she gave up everything and moved to Mexico with her whole family yeah. and they were missionaries and they helped in orphanages both for the abuelas which are the elderly mm -hmm. and for children. And she got to actually be there and distribute these boxes when they came. Awesome. And what they are is like shoe box size boxes that you fill. And, and if you look online, Samaritan Purse, um, there's a list of like do's and don'ts. But you okay. think like these people, they have not, like forks and spoons. Yeah. Washcloths. Underwear. Socks, underwear, um, undershirts, toy, jump rope, yeah. you know, puzzles. So uh, Corey asked our team if we wanted to participate. And so it, rather than like you do a box, I do a box, we said, all right, what is it? Everybody look at the list, mm -hmm. bring in whatever, you know, speaks to your heart cool. and we'll put these together. And we went to Hobby Lobby and got the bins. They're like two ninety nine yep. each. And our goal, her goal was 10 boxes. We had enough for 35 boxes. Wow. So last Tuesday on Halloween, we um, gathered together and put those 35 boxes together. And then they'll be picked up, I think, like the week of November 15th. Awesome. So definitely check out Samaritan Purse. And what she said is just as they're opening it, 
their eyes are just beaming and they would otherwise get nothing this holiday season. So we should bring up, we'll bring those in on a Monday and show you what those look like. I meant to. I'm those sorry are pretty that cool. I'm not sure. Uh, they were kind of an optional thing at school and yeah, I'm like, oh, oh I just would pick saw those oh, uh, two that. days ago. Yes. So. Very cool. Yes. Uh, our show today is brought to you by Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping. Give them a call for all of your outdoor lawn care needs. It's uh, kind of fall wrap up season. So if you haven't had your sprinklers system blown out, give them a call. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, helping bring you today's morning show. We've got a lot going on. We are going to get things started. Should we start? Let's do it. Stick with us. We're each. We're uh, at the end of the show. We're going to tell you how much it costs to fly anywhere from Detroit. <sighs> we'll be back. We have Melissa Burgett from ORS. She'll join us right after this break. <laughs> 